Welcome! I make this transparent electric toothbrush. You can clearly see every component inside, including the battery, the motor, and the mechanics that make the brush move. In this video, I will show you the teardown, how I make the clear case, and finally, the slow motion video showing how an electric toothbrush work. Stay tuned to find out. I bought this brand new Oral-B electric toothbrush since it would be a little bit disgusting using a second-hand toothbrush. After testing it function normally, then I start to disassemble it. First, take out the battery, shim away the quick fit lock, then you can take away the whole internal component, including the battery case, the motor, and the on-off switch. At the end of the motor is a eccentric crank, meaning the rotational shaft is not in the center of the circle. This is what drives the reciprocating motion of the brush. Now take apart the two brush, take away the pin, take out the brush head, push the driving shaft out, take out the old ring and the waterproof ring, ply away the circular brush, take out the spring, take out the lower spring. Remove the pin, take out the on-off switch, remove the battery connector, take out the motor. Now we can start to make the mold. I will skip the mold making details in this video. I will post a full tutorial on mold making later, so please subscribe. Using acrylic strip and super glue to fix the mold runner. The finished part should look like this. Then flip them over to put inside the box. Pull in the silicone and let it cure. And then open the box. Cut open the silicone to take out the parts. Use a syringe to pour in the epoxy into the mold and let it cure. Take out the finished part. We can start the reassembly. First, put the motor back. Fix the battery connector. Let's test if it's still working. Put the on-off switch back. This on-off switch is very simple. It just push away the battery from the connector to turn off the motor. Since the original case is a soft rubber on an on-off switch location, now the case is hard. So I need to drill holes in order to push the on-off switch. Put back the waterproof ring and the driving shaft. Put the pin, the spring, and the brush back to its place. Check both brush can move freely. And put the whole brush back. Put the whole motor assembly back to the case. And then I stick a small piece of acrylic in order to push the on-off switch. Finally, put the waterproof ring back and screw in the battery cover. Voila! All done! The on-off switch worked perfectly. The whole toothbrush looks amazing. You can see everything inside. Now let's check out the slow motion video and see how it works. This is 64 times slower than real speed. You can see the driving shaft is like sterling, driven by the motor and the eccentric crank. At the very end of the driving shaft, its sterling motion drive the circular brush rotating back and forth. I've cut away some of the case so you can see more clearly. For the lower brush, the sterling motion push the brush every revolution, makes the brush reciprocate as the blue arrow direction. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and tell me what you want me to do next in the comment. See you next time.